of times we uh, he met up with Bacon Pancakes at like New Jersey or something, and they're they're homies now. <laughs> Pretty cool. Dang, that, yeah. that's cool. As shit. He's like, yo, you're going to uh, to. He actually asked him to team with him. Bacon Pancakes asked Della to team with him here, but Della's not here. Uh, but Della, we miss you. Come come chill, dude. If you're watching the stream, all right. So I don't know if it's a fun check. We're just going right into yeah, it. Yeah, lo looks like we're going right into it. Ivysaur versus Box. This is a horrible matchup for Ivysaur. Yeah, I've heard. Now, oh. Um, Ivysaur kind of has to deal with Fox's edge shenanigans every time he gets knocked off the stage like this. Uh, those edge guards are free. Bacon should not be missing those. Go grab ledge. Just grab ledge, yeah. Oh. All the pressure right now from Bacon Pancakes. They're getting really hard for Ivysaur to breathe, which is why this matchup can be so tough. Because Ivysaur really doesn't have the strongest out of shield game, so getting stuck in there by a really technical Fox is uh, not a place you want to be. And we see Bacon doing the Bacon Classic, just kind of full hopping and back airing. But he reads that uh, grab. He's getting walled out really well right now by Steel King Roo, But nice excellent dash dance into an up smash. All right, so Jumbo told you a little bit about Bacon Pancakes now since uh, Steel King Roo just lost his first stock. Obviously, he's a Ivy main from here in Massachusetts. Uh, he's ranked 14th on our PR. Uh, he he started out like a, about a year ago. He was always an Ivy sort of player, you know, kind of kind of. Always pretty good. He was solid. And then only recently in the past two weeks, he's actually gotten fourth two weeks in a row at SG, beating Sora, beating Seth. Wow. Um, yeah, he's been he's been playing really strong. So he's come, he's kind of playing really good right now. He says, Fox versus Ivy is tough. Bacon Pancake is supposed to be good. Yes. Should be a fun match. Always humble. Always having fun. Uh, Seal Kangaroo, really, really cool guy over here at SG. And the, the really bad thing about this matchup is most of Ivy's approaches get very easily crouch canceled by Fox. So while Fox, well, Ivy kind of has to respect everything Fox does. Uh oh, this could be a gimp. Oh, really sweet just as I say that, yeah, Seal right. Kangaroo turns it around. Sick oh, ledge no. coverage, though. And we're seeing Bacon miss these easy edge guards on Ivysaur and kind of force these up smash kills as we're seeing right now. That's another thing. Um, wow, but he's get, getting all these good up smashes. Uh, really patient in the neutral, like you said. He he has a really good fundamentals. Yeah, uh, Bacon, his combo game is really hard, but sometimes you know you just gotta go for that up smash. Yeah. When, when you're in kill percent. Jumps out of that. Wants nothing to do with that. Yeah, I just floaty it. Wow. Ooh, nice, nice grab. jabs. That near jab pressure, looking like Street Fighter. Oh, nice, nice shine. Now, can he get this edge guard? Oh, goes for the down air instead of the back air. I see a lot of Steel oh, Kangaroo. Oh, no. Steel Kangaroo slow. takes his jump. And Bacon has found himself losing a lot of these stocks very early and missing these edge guards. Whenever you grab the stage or grab the ledge versus Ivysaur's tether, you can just wait for him to pull up because he has to either pull up on the stage or pull up on the ledge. And since Ivy's whip doesn't have a hitbox when he tethers to the ledge, it's pretty free. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Fox is so good. Wow. Nice down tilt. He gets the read. Gets a dash attack. Dash cancel. Keeping it up. Oh, wow. the down air. Nice, nice side, side beat. Oh, no. Doesn't get the punish. Oh. Air on shield. Put the pressure on. The back airs. Up air might do it. You're Fox. Sick up air to get oh, back on Oh, what a grab. Snatching bacon. That, that back air might do Very it. Very hard position for bacon pancakes right now. That takes it. Steel Kangaroo takes game one. Yeah, Bacon, Bacon losing a lot of early stocks here. And Steel Kangaroo definitely capitalizing on Bacon's impatience with those up smashes. Also, his inability to edge guard Ivysaur we saw coming into play multiple times. You see, yeah. I, once Ivysaur tethers to the ledge, like she's, you got a free edge guard against her. There's no reason she should be coming back to the stage for free. I don't know if Bacon knows that. C Cedric. Bacon Pancakes getting that coaching done right now. Tell Bacon to hold ledge and punish against Ivysaur. Yeah, like you're saying, even if um, if you don't get the the shine spike immediately by reading the upbeat, you can just hold on to the ledge. He's there has two options. He can land on stage, have an absurd amount of landing lag, much longer than you'd think. Like it's it's broken how long you you stand on the ledge. Um, you can easily punish it. And if not, you just stay on ledge. Steel Kangaroo, we saw it multiple times with up B and float back and grab the ledge. And Bacon Pancakes never picked up on that and continued to the same pressure he would put on yeah. ledge. And then he would shield on stage, and Steel Kangaroo would just come up and air a shield every single time. Yeah, those back airs were proving really good for um, Steel Kangaroo that game. Those back air kills, I think he got three back air kills. Yeah. Just like off the stage getting edge guards. Or, or actually, he got that, that one gimp. 
that was the down air? Yo, yeah, on yeah. the stage, yeah, yeah. That was um, really good. But yeah, funny thing about Ivysaur's, most of Ivysaur's approaches are like fake. You can crouch cancel into shield them, and then Ivysaur really has to guess, and like, he doesn't get any free pressure on your shield, basically. Absolutely. If you, that's it, you don't let yourself get hit by Razor Leaf, which you never should. There's no yes. reason to get hit by Razor Leaf. You can clank it, you can spot dodge it, <laughs> you can do anything. Especially Fox, he has the double lasers. Yeah. Ooh, nice crouch cancel. Bacon respecting, or not respecting Ivysaur's approaches. Up air on this low ceiling, not gonna kill yet, but clearly. Oh, wow, very, we take those! <laughs> oh, Bacon going into Zen mode. Looking at those headphones. Okay. Oh, nice shine. But coming with that rising fair, that's an Ivy Sword classic coming from the edge. Yeah, seriously. Poking up. Talk to the guy that's standing on the chair. Oh, nice. Did you see how he crouch canceled into shield that back here? Yeah, you're saying that earlier, huh? Oh, well, not directly on the platform above it, but yeah, really good option. Jab pressure into Sick. the up air. Sick. Bacon is feeling himself now. This low ceiling on PS2 making a huge difference in the yeah. matchup now. The space um, really helping Fox outmaneuver Ivysaur right now. Fox has really nice movement speed, whereas Ivysaur kind of has to bait with his range a lot. Sick late bear Ooh. on there. Going to actually confirm the stock for Steel Kangaroo. Healing down to 0% now. One stock lead for Bacon Pancakes. Now, the question is, will Bacon try to force this kill near the edge? Nice, he's being patient. And now he's getting a huge combo, so just 60% off one hit. Staying in center stage, that's smart by Bacon. He does not want to force anything. Oh man, might be a confirm right here for oh, Still Kangaroo. Missing the up air follow up. Sick back Ooh, air. Back here into RAR back air. Sick, two stock lead now for Bacon Pancakes. All right. Sitting on a hefty cushion, but he can't get lazy now because one back air off stage can end the whole stock for him potentially. And I'm loving the adjustments made by Bacon Pancakes. He's no longer falling for Ivysaur's tricks. Uh, just kind of staying outside his range and using his superior movement speed to get those nice punishes. And we're seeing all those crouch cancel shields. Damn. Oh, dirty back air. The winner. So do you get to play with Bacon Pancakes a lot? I, I don't get to play him that often, but he's kind of a threat in our region. He's beaten me... Um, I don't know if he beat me the last time we played, but he beat me at Shots Fired. Um, so he's a really solid player. He's beaten Pink Fresh before. He's beaten uh, a lot of the good players in our region. And he's beat Chillin' Dude. Dang, cool. Yeah. Uh, I've actually never been able to see him play until now, so it's pretty and cool. MDVA is probably the best PM region. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We'll see about that today. I mean, Massachusetts like 3-0 and now, so. 3-0? Th <laughs> yeah. Against out-of-state? I mean, yeah, uh, Wilford Brimley took out Boyko, you know, your boy. I, I did see that, yeah. So, uh, Massachusetts, no slouch here, you but, see that? Steel Joe's Root? not ranked, he's not even top 20 in our region. He took wow. out Boyko, dude. That's, that's pretty incredible. What is yeah. Boyko ranked in NYJ? I have no clue. I think according to him, though, he's number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Battlefield. That is an interesting pick. I don't know. I guess as Ivy Story, you kind of want a stage that you can abuse your, your up airs, your forward airs, your back airs, your disjoints. Yeah, he'll and have a lot of a lot more tech situations mm -hmm. landing on platforms, and I think that's where uh, Ivysaur kind of needs in this, because he's not going to get the movement on him, right. so he needs to put Fox in awkward positions. The, the, the only problem with Battlefield is it's not a lot of space on that stage, so Bacon could rush him down. But on the first stage, I think uh, well, let's, Steel Kangaroo was yep. doing a better job of uh, containing the rushdown, whereas on PS2, Bacon was kind of using his movement speed. Sure. But now, we have Battlefield, one of the most neutral stages in the game. I love the stage. Oh, the Nair up tilt pressure. Wow, nice late dash back. Get some combo going. Wow, oh, almost, gets, almost the fair. gets it. What yeah, those fairs hitting through the platform. Oh, this is another reason, too. Ivysaur has this mission shenanigans, this down B. You can keep him very vertical. Horizontally, I, Fox very much wins this matchup. But in the vertical, I think Ivy has it. Fair is reaching above him. Uh oh. Uh, oh, nice what? SDI. What? The SDI onto the stage. Nice shield pressure right there. The Nair just, just shreds oh, the shield. The back here. This should be an easy edge guard. But whoa, Steel Kangaroo with a weird button input there. Bacon Pancakes taking advantage of it with this extra life he's been given. 
because he should be out for the count right now. So any percent now is really huge. Oh no, that. missing the edge. Oh wow, not missing the edge. I thought he was going for edge too. He Whoa. Might... Oh, the Are Nair spike. Me? The Nair spike, that's sexy right there. I love that. All right, and that is crucial. Bacon has been showing that he kind of forces these kills when he loses the lead. Nice. Oh, what an yeah. early kill. That's, that's super important. Now it's even again. Yeah, that was really huge for the momentum that Steel Kangaroo was just building up there. Now one stock, uh, SBI not not present in that <laughs> in that up air. Yeah. But still very good, well placed up air. Uh, good percent killed him off the top. Now we got calling for those down tilts down. a lot. Maybe he found his comfort zone. You know, maybe he found out, hey, this down tilt range is pretty is pretty nice. I'm gonna stick over here instead of trying to come up and nair you all the time. Yeah. Nice up air pressure. Noticing Bacon's coming in after those forward airs and just kind of checking him. Oh, look at this punish. No punish. No, but the idea was there. That's something that was missing from this whole set yeah. so far. Is those kind of tether, uh, tether punishes that are so easy to do on Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. Really important versus a character oh. like Ivysaur. No. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. Okay, my heart just stopped for a second. Oh, nice wow. Nice spacing. Oh, oh, just missing the... That's jab reset, though. And what oh, the hell? What? That was strong bear. That was a crazy bait. <laughs> yeah, he just run up charge like, into... That's some mind game shit right there, dude. Yeah, there's that down tilt again. I think he's finding his happy place right now. On the ledge, a scary place, but so far still Kangaroo has been coming so hard. For this kill. Oh, wow. and he Snipes gets it out with that the up slide. Smash. That was sick. Because Ivy Sword slid off the platform, Bacon was able to confirm into that up smash. Maybe reading the downwards DI in a sense. He's like, yo, I, I, you're probably crouch canceling, son. If, 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 he does, if he did that, he's a god. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I believe it. His oh, fox is uh, really impressive right now. Chase? Oh, no, this could be it. He doesn't get it. Oh, that's crucial. Bad situation. But Bacon still not punishing Ivy Sword on the edge. If I they, can't believe Ivy Sword can just up jump out of that. Gets the solar beam. Might be important after this stock. Wow, oh. doesn't get the ledge guard. Oh. The what? Nair spike! Again! Super important that he kept that solar oh. beam now. This is important. Nope. Bacon not grabbing the edge. No! That's sick. Good stuff. Very, very good choice. Very impressive offstage play by Steel Kangaroo. Kind of upsetting Bacon Pancakes. Bacon not looking too happy. And if Bacon comes back and